zooming into the Harris County courtroom, a video series from the Harris County Robert W. Hainsworth Law Library in collaboration with the Houston Bar Association Law Library Committee. During this time of public health concern, many courts in Harris County are changing their procedures and are using the Zoom video conferencing app for court proceedings. This video series is intended to help everyone better understand the technologies they need to access the courthouse. It is important to note that this video provides information about technology and is not a substitute for the advice of an attorney. If you need information about services in Harris County that help you speak with a lawyer, please visit the Law Library self-help page at www.harriscountylawlibrary.org. In this video, we'll discuss basic features of Zoom that you will need to attend your virtual court hearing. References to court procedures in this video will be to Harris County's 310th Family Court Policies and Procedures with the permission of Judge Sonia Heath. Although all courts will use similar technology for virtual hearings, policies and procedures may be different for each court. Please check your court's webpage and read the court's policies and procedures before your virtual hearing. You can find links to family and district court websites in Harris County at www.justtext.net. That's J-U-S-T-E-X dot net. On the day of your Zoom hearing, courts often like for you to arrive early. For example, the 310th Family Court in Harris County provides a procedure that states, at least five minutes before the remote proceeding is scheduled to begin, persons attending the proceeding shall join the proceeding by navigating to https colon slash slash zoom dot us and entering the meeting ID contained in the Notice of Remote Hearing. The Notice of Remote Hearing may look like the sample notice in the 310th Family Court's Policies and Procedures, in which case it will contain both a meeting ID and password. The meeting ID and password might also appear in a scheduling order given to you by the court. Here we see an example scheduling order with the meeting ID and password in paragraph 10. You can also find the Zoom courtroom by navigating to the court's website and clicking the right Zoom link. Here we see the 310 Family Court has four links. Many courts in Harris County have an elected judge and an associate judge. Be sure to select the link for the judge who is scheduled to hear your case. If you are unsure which judge you have been assigned, be sure to contact the court before the day of your hearing. Each judge may have two links listed for their virtual courtroom. One link allows you to enter the virtual courtroom as if you entered the meeting ID on the Zoom website. The other link is for public viewing of public court proceedings and does not allow you to talk with the judge. Once you have entered the meeting ID or clicked on the link to the virtual courtroom, your browser should display a web page with a button that reads Launch Meeting. If the Zoom app does not open on your computer immediately, you can press the Launch Meeting button to connect. Once the meeting begins to connect, your browser may ask you to select an app to use. When attending a virtual hearing, many courts prefer that you use the Zoom app rather than the plug-in browser version of Zoom, so you can use all of the features available through the app. If you need information about downloading and installing the app, please see our video titled, Get Tech Ready for Your Zoom Hearing. To select the Zoom app, click the Choose Application button to see the list of apps. If the Zoom app is properly installed on your computer, the list should include it as an option. Select Zoom Meetings and click the Open Link button. The Zoom app should launch in its own window. Many courts use meeting passwords. If you are prompted to enter a meeting password, you can enter the password that may be found in the court's procedures or a document provided by the court or another party, such as a notice of remote hearing. After you enter the password, click the Join Meeting button. The Zoom app will verify your password and then you will be directed to a virtual waiting room. Do not navigate away from this page. There may be several cases set on the docket at the same time. When the court is ready to call your case, the judge will allow each participant into the virtual courtroom from the virtual waiting room. When you are admitted to the virtual courtroom, the judge may introduce the court and call your case, including the names of the parties and the case number. This is Judge Sonia Heath, and we are broadcasting live from the 310th District Court this morning. Court calls case number 1925-04102 in the matter of the marriage of Daisy Buchanan and Thomas Buchanan. During the hearing, you will use several of the Zoom controls at the bottom of the Zoom meeting window. 
You can access the video and microphone controls by moving your cursor to the bottom of the Zoom meeting window and clicking on the correct image. Courts may require anyone who will testify during the proceeding to appear on video so that the person may take the oath to testify. If the video is disabled, a red line will be shown through the image of the camera and your name will appear in a black box in the meeting window. Clicking the button will remove the red line and turn on your camera. Clicking it again will turn off your camera. Additionally, the judge may require you to mute or unmute your microphone during the hearing. Would both the parties please unmute yourself and raise your right hand to be sworn. If your microphone is muted, a red line will appear through the image of a microphone with the word unmute underneath, and a small red microphone with a line through it will appear under your video. While your microphone is muted, the judge will not be able to hear you and may instruct you to unmute your microphone. Mr. Buchanan, please unmute yourself. You're still on mute. Clicking the button will remove the red line and turn on your microphone. Sorry, Judge. At this point, the judge should be able to hear you. Clicking the button again will mute your microphone. Court procedures like those for the 310th Family Court may recommend keeping your microphone muted unless you are speaking. All right, the court has reviewed the proposed final decree and the court is going to grant your divorce today pursuant to insupportability. The court finds all legal requirements have been met and it is a just and right division of your... Anything else? No, thank you, no, Your Honor. thank you. All right, I will, you are excused. Once the Zoom hearing is completed and the judge has dismissed you, you can click the red leave button to exit the virtual courtroom. It is important that you do not click the leave button or close the window before the judge dismisses you. Once you click the leave button, you will have to click another button to confirm that you want to leave the virtual courtroom. After you click the second button, the Zoom meeting window should close and you will no longer be connected to the virtual courtroom.